if you are paying your property tax amount before 30th of April that is this particular month you will be getting a 5% of rebate from the total amount what you are paying. Namaskara, 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 Yelargo Namaskara Glu, this is Ashish Matthew. Welcome to another vlog. Okay, so uh, very important information for those of you people who are staying in Bangalore. Okay, most of you guys who are having property, okay, if you want to pay a tax, just remember a couple of years back we used to go to the BBMP office and then pay. But then there is a way of paying it through online. I know most of you guys should be knowing it, but this particular video is especially for the people who are not aware of it. Okay, there is a way of paying your property tax okay via online and also adding on to it the bbmp commissioner gaurav gupta has actually announced that if you are paying your property tax amount before 30th of april that is this particular month you will be getting a five percent of rebate from the total amount what you're paying so quickly go ahead and pay it it's a very simple step those of you guys again i'm just quoting it this is especially for the people who are not aware that you can actually pay your property tax through online within the BBMP limit. So here we go. You open your uh, URL and then type uh, bbmptax.karnataka.gov.in or just go to Google and then type BBMP tax. This is the page where you come and you can actually increase the font. You can decrease the font by clicking on A plus and A minus. If you want to change the color, you don't like this particular color, you can actually click on that, uh, you know, uh, what is that fluorescent or this thing. Now, uh, you have three options, A app, uh, app number, PID number and uh, the uh, renewal application number. Okay. So how do you get the application number? If you have any of your old receipt, just open that and you have an application number mentioned that. Just take that and then type it in this 10 digit application number okay and that's what i'm going to do right now so that i can retrieve my data okay so whatever tax i've paid so many years i mean where is it i can actually retrieve it from this particular portal by typing your application number or pid number or the renewal application number okay so here uh, the owner's name is not mandatory you can mention anything whatever you want click on retrieve and there you go you actually get all your details within a fraction of a minute not even minute yeah probably around 20 seconds so you get all the details base application new application and then owner name and his mobile number and then the paying year okay so paying year in the main that means you know i have not paid the amount for the year 2021 okay 2022 and i have to pay for 2021 2022 2022 2023 so two years i got to pay so i'm sure that there will be a penalty charge for me okay so there are many other responsibility things which they have mentioned bbmp is not responsible when have they been responsible okay anyways uh, attention all requested to refund charge okay so all these are blah blah things uh, if you want actually you can actually click and then see how it goes i just click on proceed and i actually enter my detail okay these are my details and if you guys are actually wondering what do you mean by sas that means self-assessment scheme okay that is what you guys are confused on i can actually see all my details i just crawl it down and that is where i can actually find the amount which i'm supposed to pay for for these two years 21 22 22 23 and you can see there is a hundred rupees penalty man for me the last year okay so for the last year i got to pay 5417 and this year i got to pay 4819 and remember i told you that if you're able to pay before april 30th there will be a five percent rebate and there is uh two three four dot six six that is four six nine three into zero point zero five that gives you two three four dot six six so this much amount will be deducted if you're actually paying it before 30th of april so please hurry up guys as i mentioned here one is chalan payment the other one is online payment chalan payment you cannot do it here because this is online by default oh. just to test let's click on chalan payment and you get this particular pop-up saying that you cannot go ahead okay it is not possible during online uh you know payment now click on online payment you get an uh pop-up saying that you will be redirected and then it asks you please enter all the latest details like latest mobile for the auth authentication and you'll be getting an otp okay that means my profile is not complete so you can see those asterisk symbol okay red mark and all so my mobile number is not entered properly there is no door number and all those things so these things needs to be entered as soon as possible and once you enter that and click on proceed you will be getting an otp through your text message let's go ahead and do that right now now i've entered all the details and i'm clicking on online payment yes the same pop-up and then now an otp comes on to my text uh, message okay and this is the otp i just go back to my app and then i just enter the otp here and click on uh, proceed 
okay there you go you get online payment details okay yeah. this gives you an option of showing all the modes 57 plus banks it supports okay so anyway my account is hdfc okay so i'm going to select that and it actually shows you what is the split amount you know so i have to pay around 10236 bucks and you can either pay through uh, upi uh, but it's preferably better to do through net banking always so i've completed my payment and there you see you can see the receipt just click on download receipt and you actually get your receipt you need to select the assessment here is a 2022 2023 let me just select 2022 and you got to mention the application number as well okay you guys know that particular 10 digit number from where you get just enter your application number and there you go my pdf format um you know receipt is ready uh let's play around with the app what you need to do is just click on the right top button okay those three lines and you can you have many options here you have the payment status just click on the application number and click on retrieve it will actually give you the payment status if you want to see any of your years like 2019 2020 just click on downloads and receipt print here you can actually select which years uh, receipt you want you might have actually paid it uh, through cash by going to the bbmp office okay and um, you can actually find it here and a race ticket this is for the grievance okay so any of your close ones are no more you can actually go ahead and raise a ticket and then check the status as well it gives you a very clear picture very very simple application to make use of so that was a video okay i hope this particular video was informative if yes people please do share this particular video for your friends so that it will be helpful for them as well okay and you can actually go ahead and pay the tax no need to go and wait in the bbmp office okay very easy very quick so thank you so much this is ashish matthew signing off jay karnataka mate jay hind subscribe money Thanks, Masko Akoli. Bye-bye. See you.